Can I just get a round of applause for even making it to this video? I didn't think I was even going to go to Ariana Grande, and here we are. So round of applause, please. Hey guys, it's Kawhi Case. Today we are here with a story time. So get in your comfy chair, get some snacks, grab some tea, because I have quite a story for you. So let's get started. So this whole thing was a very long time coming. The concert I went to was the June 21st, 2019, whereas I was planning on going in March. I was going to sit way up high, you know, as long as I'm going to be there, that's all I want. And then school just, you know, school just does what school does. I had an online exam around that time that the concert was happening on the same day, and it was not a 24-hour one. I could open up whenever. It opened up at 8 a.m., stayed out till like midnight. So I was like, mm, I could just not do this and like try to get through or I can cancel this concert and sell my ticket or I can try to take my exam at the concert and that was just not a risk I was willing to take despite how much I hate school, I do not want to fail it so I decided to sell my ticket but with my foolishness I sold it for the same price that I got it for and I definitely should have waited a little longer to see if I can get more for it so as time went on I kept seeing footage and I just felt like it was getting spoiled for me seeing all her outfits and like clips and how she was going to perform it and the stage design Yosef was just very convinced that it was going to happen that we could do this, we could finesse and I was just like nodding my head like okay, sure, yeah, like you know what, you try, you do your best, I'm just, I'm not I'm not gonna expect anything, but um, I already took defeat. Because we looked at the ticket prices at that time, and they were just like, I guess it's been a lot of concerts, and he just he's also experienced seeing one of his favorite artists up front, close to the stage, and it was an unforgettable experience he talks about all the time. He wanted that for me, and so he was really still trying to get these picket tickets. We suffered through school, now it's summer, and it's coming up. Two weeks before these late June concerts were happening at Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, and DC, my boyfriend starts checking out the tickets on SeatGeek, StubHub, Vivid Seats to see what the tickets were like and if they're going down. So then the day of the Pittsburgh date comes around and we're debating if we want to go make a spontaneous road trip to Pittsburgh. At this point, we're, we're not buying the tickets. We're going to go, no tickets bought, wait till an hour or two before the concert to then buy tickets. Assuming that the price is going to drop because some, they got to get rid of these tickets. We meet up in the morning here, just look monitoring the tickets and then we decide that we're just gonna watch the Pittsburgh tickets to see what happens with them all the way up to the date to see if that will happen with DC and then maybe Philly. The Pittsburgh hit ticket dropped really low, almost half to what the original retail price was. When paying for the ticket plus the Airbnb, it just added up to a right, almost a regular one before knowing that it was gonna drop so low. And I'm trying not to think about how cheap those tickets were, but is what it is. So that kind of gave us hope that DC was gonna look a lot better. And so we waited again. Then the day comes, June 21st, Ariana Grande DC show. They were being more aggressive with their prices than Pittsburgh was. I was like, oh, they're not looking good. So we did the same thing. We chilled here for a couple hours watching the tickets. Eventually we left around five to go to the concert. We were in traffic, which didn't help. I was hungry. It was just not a good situation. I had my phone on all the three different apps. I was checking them over and over again, refreshing them. And they kept dropping and dropping. As soon as we were like, we're debating, we're like, okay, should we get this? Should we get this? Someone would buy it. We were gambling. <laughs> and it's very stressful. I don't think it's something I want to do. Eventually, it was just, people were buying more tickets and there's only so many left on all the different websites. It came down to a floor ticket, five rows from the front loop. There was a corner one close to the loop, and then there's pit. We were greedy, we wanted to keep going for those pit tickets regardless. I had a personal limit of where I wanted to go. If it was going past that limit on my budget, then it was just going to be a no-go. And eventually I was like, okay, looks like it might be floor. It's getting close to the date and I'm very scared someone's going to buy our ticket. And I, for some reason I just felt like DC was just going to be like our best chance. Going to Philly and driving and driving back just sounds miserable as much as I love Ariana Grande. Also, we gambling then too. Boom. We bought tickets from SeatGeek. But it was not over because we had to wait for our vendor to approve of our purchase. And so we were just waiting and we already arrived at the venue. He was trying to find parking already because he was just like, I gotta get out of this car. Maybe it was like 15, 20 minutes. I probably were exaggerating, but it definitely felt like a really long time. They approved of it 
and I was just praying that it wasn't sketchy and that no one was scamming us. Thank goodness, I look at it and it's a QR code. And so I screenshot them just in case the connection went bad. And at this point, Yosef's chilling. I am not, I am hungry. Until I was like sitting in that seat or until I was like seeing her, like I was just like not processing this. We were there about an hour earlier, which is really nice. I started feeling more excited once we got out of the car. I was trying to process like, oh, shit, like we're going on a grande, this is, this is crazy. The girl is hyped. I couldn't stop, like the smile there was just like, couldn't stop smiling. The hyped, just excited voice was happening and I was just like grabbing his arm like, Ooh, like we're gonna go stay on a grande, oh my gosh. Also, we were able to get food, which made me really happy. And then we started heading to the venue. We get in and we're wearing our American Eagle clear fanny packs. We were wearing during Governor's Ball, if you want to check out my vlog, at her concerts, there's only clear bags that are allowed. We checked in and when we first scanned it, I was so nervous. If this doesn't accept, like, I don't know how they can mess this up. I was just like freaking out, like, please, please, please. And we scanned it and like, okay, good to go. I was like, oh. Like, thank goodness. At this point, we're like, okay, we still have more time. Like, let's go check out the merch. You guys have looked up pictures and we like saw people post on Twitter and things like that to see what's there. And the selection actually like huge. We just dropped a little bit for our floor seats. So we decided to withhold from buying any of the, you know, bigger merch things. But we were just like, nah, let's not do it. So we took some pictures and then we came back to the merch area and I was like, okay, like, we're really not, we're really gonna go empty handed. Being so caught up, in like having a physical item to like remember things just feeling like oh like i don't want to miss out on this experience like buying this even though you definitely don't need it but i just i had to do it i also got a poster last time i was at the ariana grande concert so i had this one from last year and so i was like okay there's a really cool splinter poster and it's huge but it's also cool and it looks heavy duty i bought that <laughs> What made us go back to the merch after taking pictures was because we saw the bags. Let me tell you about these bags. <laughs> How cute is this bag? I just saw people walking around with them and I was like, okay, like we gotta go back there. I just had to get it. I had to get this bag at least. What's really cool? Look at this. I, I saw this later. It's biodegradable. It looks like plastic, but it's biodegradable. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> really nice quality. And the text is so nice. So look at that. It's heavy duty. The, the, the quality is so thick. It's, it's really nice. Honestly, you probably would have been able to just grab the bag and go. He also grabbed it while I was getting my poster, so he easily could have just gotten the bag. But I am an awful spender, as you may be able to tell by the fact that I'm making this video. So I got some merch, took it with us. I was a happy camper, I left with something. The one thing that really has me blown is that with the price of the food, the price of the ticket, and then the price of the merch, Low key, we could have bought the pit tickets, and that kind of haunted me a little bit. But we'll go more into that later. But then the time comes, we're entering the arena. This is the same venue where I saw One Direction. I was at the very top, and that was a really good memory. And then Dangerous Swimming, where I was a little bit closer, but I was still high up. And then now I'm here on the floor, so it was just, you know, that development, that growth is just. So while they were checking our seats, Yosef was in front, and I asked him if- Is it close? And he's like- Yeah, it's close. Yeah. So I was like, oh my gosh, like I can't right now. And we're walking down, and I see the floor, I'm like, whoa. I was shook. And boom, it's there, five D. Two rows close to the loop, the walkway, aisle, and then three rows, and we were in the third row on that after that. Uh, I, I cried. Like, I actually cried. Like, there's like the- Oh my gosh, I cry, I cry, I'm crying. Like, this is crazy. Like, like no, like, I actually, like, freaked out, broke down. And there's like nobody here at this point. There's like a few people sitting in some floors and like no one's performing yet. It's early and I'm just like, I'm just like full on sobbing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's pretty bad. But at the same time we got to this point, I think it was just so insane to be able to see Someone I've like loved for so long because I've been a fan of Ariana Grande since like 2013. It was really crazy that I had the opportunity to be that close to her and have that experience, especially since I've been, I was like up there before and now I'm down here. And so I think it all just, the emotions just like got the best of me. I was like, you know, the mixture of the being shook, all the stress that we went through. And here I am, here I am sitting like fifth row on the floor to see Ariana Grande. The loop is right here. I can see her, like I'll be able to see her very clearly. Even with the people in front of me, like she's right there. And then eventually Social House comes out. I like their vibes and their energy. It's just so awkward like being there when there's like no there's like nobody there really. And like when you're on the floor, you can't just sit down and like chill. Or else it's just like awkward and like kinda rude. 
as people are just like giving their all performing and then you're just there in the front like they can see you clearly because there's really no one in front of us yet sometimes i'd stand up and like try to get into it but even when i'm saying i like doing this like I really should be standing up. I just feel bad. I don't like follow social house that much. I only know Hanyu because I got it. She did vocals for that song. It also felt like it was weird to have such a big stage for just them two, which I could see for sure. But they kind of tried, they made use of the stage as much as possible. Being able to see social house and like how close they were, then I knew like, oh, sh that's where Iron Grande is gonna be. On you came on, I was going off to it. Social house was pretty good. And then Normani came out, and I actually really loved. Normani's performance. She's a great performer. I just really admire her confidence, her swag. It like low-key just made me want to like go in my go to my room and just like have a full on feel myself glam concert. It was like very empowering. I loved all her dancers and how she had like she had let them have the spotlight at some point. And it was an all-female band. It was beautiful. She did a lot of Rihanna songs, which was really cool that we could sing along to. I didn't really listen to Armani either, but I love Fifth Harmony, and she used to perform some of the songs from then, which is really cool. So I was able to sing to those. And overall, I really enjoyed Armani's performance. Next, my girl Ariana Grande. <laughs> People started filing in more. It's really just like young girls and like moms that are like there. So it's like perfect. Like the moms are short, the girls are pretty short, and I just was able to like do it between the heads and like boom, I had a spot. Also, before the concert even started, my phone was full, but also I just wanted to like enjoy it, and he wanted me to enjoy it. So he was gonna take my videos for me. She is coming out. I had like the little like yelp as Yosa put it. It's very like cringe. I'm just singing, enjoying the whole like venues. It was lit. I love the energy. From where we were, it was a really cool place to be at to see like the stage design. And then sometimes she would walk around the loop, and so I always get really excited to see her come over there. As soon as she like just walked towards the loop, and then she like be there for like one second, then went through. And I was like, oh, like that sucks. For a little more, I could have been in the pit. They got to like see her so close, and they're just like not compact in there. While Iron Garden doesn't really interact with like her pit crowd that much, I expected out of the concert was having more like intimate concert experience because I've been to smaller concerts. Once once I saw how close I could get, I was like being greedy. I'm greedy. She's beautiful and I really admire her and it was really cool to see her out there just performing and singing as wonderful as she does and at the time she had bronchitis. I don't know if she's still sick now but it's really amazing. Every time I loved vocals for that, like I was looking forward to that moment because I've been seeing a lot of clips. I really loved the performance of NASA with all the space lights and her being right there in the loop with us. The dancers were awesome. I really loved their parts with NASA as well. And of course, uh, Needy was beautiful. One of her best songs is gorgeous. It's really cool to see how much support she has. I was just one of them out there just supporting her too. Another one of my favorite parts was when she was singing Breathe In because she did it without any like music in the background for the first part of it. I think Yosef and I really like like that because we just wanted to like hear her voice more versus like the whole production of it. And she also did that portion at the front loop with us, so it was really cool. We were a little bummed to not hear Goodnight and Go and Imagine, but I thought the visuals for Get Well Soon and also hearing her was like beautiful with the giant moon. So that was something I was really hoping to hear because I didn't know if she was performing that one or not. I think it's also different because I just went to a fest music festival, Governor's Ball, if you check out my vlog, which I think I already mentioned, but you know, here's another plug. Her songs are more just like you sing. It's not, some of them are kind of like dancing songs, but some of them I feel like you just kind of sing, so you're just kind of like chilling there. Maybe because it's like seats are there too. If the seats weren't there, maybe I'd feel more like inclined to like go off, but I didn't really like do much of that to be honest. Also, we didn't get to hear Monopoly or the new song she got her own. And also when we, when they ended, she shoot a confetti and it looks like handwritten notes. I think I have it. Here's some of them. Someone had their, some people had their bags out and they literally collected so many, which is a good idea. Um, Yosef was saying I should get all of them and then like piece them together. But these are really cute that you can just use like as a collage or something. These are cool. If you want to go to the Ariana Grande concert and you want to see like the full stage design experience and be able to see her up close, the floor is perfect. Whereas in the pit, you have to see her very close for the whole time. You get to see like the front part of the stage, but you'll miss like the whole effect with the moon. You might get some like maybe some intimate reaction or connection with her, but she didn't really interact with the crowd like too much. Also, for people that end up deciding that like the, the pit's too much, or even if they gamble and get to this point, it's still too much for them. Just get high ones, and you know I had a I had a wonderful experience going to Dangerous Woman, being high up just because I could see the stage and I could hear her. If you know, she actually has new tour dates open. She's gonna be East Coast again, and I was like. 
I could go again. I was like, you know what? I don't want to go to the gambling experience again. Maybe I'll make another video if I end up going to that. Till then, we'll put a tab on that. Overall, I'm glad I went. I think I'd probably be crying right now if I didn't go. I think the buildup and the expectations made me feel slightly under underwhelmed when it happened. But I love her voice. I loved her stage. The performances were awesome. I just think it's very different, like being at a arena and then having a concert and being close at a concert versus like being in a small venue and then being close. You know, it just feels more homey. And so I guess I just felt more disconnected in that way. Do I feel regret? Mm. I want to say I don't feel regret because I know if I didn't go, I probably would be crying. Also, if you're like me who did watch the videos and felt like it was spoiling things, like it doesn't spoil it. The whole performance and experience was different. Even also if you watch Coachella, because I it was when I stayed up to watch the whole Coachella first weekend of Ariana Grande. And while yeah, some of the performances are in there, like it's a whole different experience. Definitely go if you really love her. High seats are not bad if you just want to be able to at least hear her voice and get that stage design. For me, once you once you also put the idea of like getting this like really close ticket, I was like, okay, like that sounds really cool. I'm very grateful that he was willing to do that with me. Low key, do want to go again in the pit, but now the time's gone a little farther. Now I did it, so. I don't have to feel that regret anymore. I guess I would rate it maybe like an 8 out of 10 due to the things I told you about. It was wonderful. I got to take home my souvenirs that I wanted and I got memories. That was my overall experience. If you have gone to Ariana Grande concert, tell me how yours went or if you are planning on going, let me know what your game plan is. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you. N next. <laughs> I'm not really doing that wrong. Maybe I could like slide it or something.